Yo, what's going on, guys? It's your boy, Voscrash, zooming in on to this next video. And as you can see right now, we're standing on the location of our last video, the very lovely mayoral office, fitted out with the beetle next to the diamond block. I know, I'm very poor, so I shouldn't be supposed to diamonds on these type of things. Ooh, nasty shulker monster. That was from the last stream day I did just a few days ago, uh, at the time of recording this at least. Many more to come, by the way. But I'm very happy that this place turned out. If you didn't see this video, it was the one from last week, make sure you check it out, because trust me, there's some good jokes in there. <laughs> and it was a good time building this thing, and very informative, I imagine. But today, ladies and gentlemen, I have something very special for you. And what is this special thing, you ask? Well, it is right in front of me. As you can see, there's absolutely nothing here. But that's where the fun part comes in, because I've requested build palettes from Vault well, fans and Scarians, and the hit the um, the kick is I've asked for not the best, not for average. I've asked for the worst that they could absolutely come up with. So this first palette right here is brought to you guys by Ocean Flan. On screen is the um, comment with. Uh, the requested palette layout, and I'll read it out for you guys. We have crimson stems, nether warp blocks, brown wool, light gray, glazed terracotta. Ignore the red wool, that's for marking out the actual surface area where it's built in to go. Bricks, skulk, purper, and green stained glass. Now, the only block I'm allowed to really morph is just the crimson stems. Uh, at least that's what the comment mix it seemed to be. So it says planks and other things. So bricks and purple, those are staying as is. And I'm pretty sure Skulk can't be crafted at anything. But I have my work cut out for me for this one. I'm gonna start off kind of hard, then we're gonna slowly ramp it up to get even harder. Now then, let's get these. Uh, I'm gonna do these all time lapses, but I'm gonna be like basically you know mumbo jumbo does it where he talks in the background while the time lapse is going on so i'm gonna get my well thought process behind what i was really doing in planning with these builds uh side note by the way these are all being freestyled so i've had no prep work um half these blocks i've never even used in a build so um this is gonna be terrible uh, i can already tell but if i can make something that actually looks good with these builds these palettes i mean then um, it's going to be something special, I think. Let's get on with it, shall we? So as you can see, I start off with a basic bottom layer trim with the gray terracotta followed up with skulk as the main texture block and the walls. Since this is a corner building, I decided to add two entrances for ease of access to both sides of the sidewalk. Then I followed up with the crimson wood, stairs, slabs, and as well as fences and trapdoors. Um, which I find complement the skulk very well and this is definitely a combo I will use again personally what I won't be using again though is the brown wool because as you can see it was very difficult to fit in to the roof setting but I managed to make it look somewhat natural after a little tinkering so as you can see from the inside I did take the time to decorate this real fast didn't do this on camera or on uh, time lapse because you know interiors are a little bit harder. But I can give a little walk around of the build. Ignore back here for now because well all of them suck. But once all these buildings are put in, then the backs I'll worry about. But for now, because this is gonna be like the back alleys and stuff. That doesn't matter though. Uh, that just keep that in mind for the rest of these though. So um, I did cheat a little bit, like I said. You know, I put the bricks there because like. It's pretty, it was going to be pretty hard to fit those in. And uh, we're just going to ignore the roof for now. Most of these roofs, actually, because until I realistically slap, like, the ACs and stuff that go on top of these, almost all of them look bad. But not the point. Let's show off this interior real fast. Also, this was the hardest thing to fit in. <laughs> I need to keep that in mind. But here we are. Made us a magic shop ran by uh, this guy, Sir Crow, who's a player on the server. And uh, I also... Uh, made this a magic shop, if you guys couldn't tell. So we got this side, we have the dark magics. You know, you know, you see, that means they're bad. And uh, over here, we have the, the pure magics. This guy needs to get decorated still, I almost forgot. So we got a few books over here uh, for good side. 
And also, um, uh, the bad side over here we also got Spell of Milk. Uh, ooh, ooh, even worse, Spell of Sparkling Water. You guys know me. Spell of Badal Summoning. This is the bad version. The good version's over there. You might have saw it. What's the bad version of a summoning Badal? Oops, double tap it. I have no idea. <laughs> but, and right here we have, you know, a good wand, bad wand. But these are forbidden magics, apparently. The bad wand does... Yeah, sorry, hairball. The bad wand does, like, blend in a little bit too much, unfortunately. But uh, it can't really be helped. Because I didn't realize until I put all the work in to make it. And uh, he's also going to be reading some books. Give me a little book stack here and there for the, you know, the magic side. But now, on to the next build palette. And trust me, I wouldn't even call this one a bad palette. That's the sad part. But it's still going to be a challenge. So I'm including it in the bad palette category. Let's go. Okay, so just like last time, I have the build palettes here. We have, for this one, If I Died by Fire, another Scarry Knows a YouTube channel. Make sure you check it out. We have Diorite, Purple Blocks, Skulk, Block of Amethyst, Blue Stained Glass, Endstone, in here, more Endstone, Magenta Glaze Terracotta, and probably the hardest thing is going to be to use Cobblestone. I hate using Cobblestone in a city setting. It has never once looked good here, but... Maybe this time things will change. Now, due to a complaint I received from Died, instead of doing it like this, this is gonna be a bigger build either way, so it doesn't matter, but she complained that I covered up like the skulk, which granted I did cover up the blocks the red stuff is carrying. So, granted I have a little more build variety with this and all these match kind of. I'm gonna be trying to leave as much I'm trying to leave as much open as possible so it's not just all covered with like this stuff. At least, in theory, I'll try that. Will I actually do it? Well, we're about to find out, so cure the- Bleh, not cure. <laughs> the the time-lapse ain't sick, guys. Trust me. Cue for the next time-lapse now, shall we? So, for some asinine reason, I recorded the last clip, the uh, time-lapse, on the uh, 15th, right? And uh, I did the same one for the next build. It was also on the 15th. For, but only the first time-lapse footage survived. Even though it was both on the same day, so I don't get it. So we're just going to jump to the next clip. Sorry about that. So now then, we have interiors installed inside these buildings. Uh, as well as going to show off the building just a little more now. And I'm kind of glad how this one came out. I think it looks good. Now, uh, the person who built this, they weren't exactly clear on how they wanted it. So I kind of messed it up. But that's besides the point. They wanted every single block showing on the face of it. Which, um, currently I'm not using creative, so that's going to be more of a challenge that I'm willing to put in right now. <laughs> so, uh, maybe in another video we'll try doing that stuff. But here we have, uh, this is Crash Breakers. And he said he wanted a Pokemon store. Now, he wasn't murdered, his head is not come clean off his shoulders. Um, I just don't have a Crash Breaker head just yet. So it's going to stay like that. He has these lovely map arts that are, well, for Minecraft extremely well quality minus the full arts but that's a given he, I, I will damn him to eternity for picking this i hate this umbreon card it looks so nasty uh anyways and pokemon plushies over here on this side the blaze is picking the fire type because you know uh fire fire i don't know um now over here uh we have uh, this is cotenzia i think i'm gonna say that right she wanted a D Dungeons and Dragons cafe. Now, um, uh, side note, I know basically zero about Dungeons and Dragons. The only thing I know about it is it's in Dead by Daylight now, which I don't know how I feel about that. But she, here's the little cafe part. These are custom models in our <clears throat> resource pack. And got a little coffee machine action going on back there. A little oven for, for the um, croissants or something, I don't know. And uh, over here, we have uh, all these nerds over here playing their Dungeons and Dragons. I cast a volley of fire. And this guy's like, oh! I'm sorry, sound warning there. <laughs> now that, that was stupid, okay. Um, but yeah, uh, it obviously it doesn't work like this. I know, yeah. believe it or not, Dungeons and Dragons people don't kill themselves IRL and cast actual spells. Uh, this guy's not batting an eye at it, mind you. 
But I wanted to give him like, he has like a jester hat kind of, but I don't know. I, kinda, I just wanted to give him like hats, so it's like the cosplaying too. But I didn't want to go overboard. Because once again, these are also a part of the uh, resource pack, so uh, for you guys, this is going to look like bumpkins if you don't have it on above their heads, which um, doesn't look as good. However, I guess you can say they're all cosplaying as pumpkin people at that point. So, is it really that bad? I don't know. But what is bad is this next palette. Trust me, this is going to be... No, this one's going to be actually hard, I think. Let's get into it. So, I know what you're thinking. Beetle, what's wrong with the palette in front of you? Well, uh, this is it right here. Uh, and there's the comment. And, well, someone underneath this comment... Uh, little person you might have heard of them from last build <coughs> died oh god ugly um what's it? she said i couldn't afford this diamond block but wow look at that what is that right there that's a diamond block i'm seeing now um if i was to use multiple diamond blocks that's a different story because um yeah i'm kind of on the broke status uh i need to get my i need to make like a stapler and get my paper together you know what i'm saying but, um, that is so stupid. Oh, I almost got the magenta stained glass. There it is. Uh, that's the whole full palette I get. Um, I'm not excited for this. I I feel like I'm making a bigger deal of it than it actually will be. But, I'm either gonna, depending on how hard this is gonna be, I'm gonna make it either taller than this one, about that tall, or about the same height as that one. But, we'll see. Um, by the way, this is gonna be like an alleyway. So, little alleyway axis right here. That's what this gap is supposed to be. So, let's get right into this. Ooh, zoom in face, shall we? With this build, I wanted something a little more taller and thinner to add some different contrast with the current structures on this block. My main wall block this time was the red nether brick, because I wanted the bright birch wood to be over the dark bricks. If this was the opposite, then I fear the bricks would overpower the softer colored walls behind them. The glowstone, being a natural light source, does help surprisingly well with these two, and they pairs nicely, which I appreciate. And as for the side walls, uh, since there's alleyways, I felt like I needed to decorate them. And these walls and fence gates do very nicely. Alright guys, so here we have the interior for uh, the last one I just built in the time-lapse. And uh, this is a placeholder guy. Uh, the person who wants this is Vindolfer. Who, um, well, you guys probably don't even know at all. You probably haven't seen her because I haven't shown... A lot of people haven't showed off really, but yeah, it's a Scarring to play on the server. She wanted a uh, photography type um, of a build. So, a little bit basic. I uh, just got uh, quotes film laying on the counter and uh, a few cameras digital they're all the same because um, <coughs> it's only well, I, I just downloaded a head off planet minecraft because yeah I'm not I'm not a talented skin artist but and I had pictures hung over the wall because maybe it's like showing off your your photography masterpieces or whatever you want to call it minus that one I hate this picture for some reason but um uh, the whole point, uh, you can see it right there, uh, I'll, I'll, talk, I'll talk about it in a second, but the whole point in this video was kind of to show that uh, being, like, try being more creative with your build palettes, guys. Like, like personally, I, I like I never would have built with any, like, maybe diorite maybe, because I, oh, I have forced myself to build diorite this season before this, but Skulk and uh, this uh, the light gray grace light gray glazed terracotta i never would have built with this stuff um just amethyst so expand your palettes and uh, that brings me to over here uh this build right here now um i did not record time lapse footage for this thing at all partially because um i thought it was gonna be terrible i, I the sucky part i wanted like a funny haha -ha build for the end where I, I'd show this off and I'd turn and it'd look atrocious. But, sh just showing off, personally, uh, of all four of these, it is the smallest actually. Second smallest, never mind. It is my favorite though, no matter how small it is. I don't know about you guys, but in person, in, on video it might look worse, but in person, this looks so much better. And the palette for this one was in stone uh, bricks. Oh, are still or flowing. I decided to do flowing to add more character. Water sources. Black glaze terracotta. Uh, shulker boxes, which yeah, I had hide under there. Only because uh, entity blocks, uh, on the server at least, there's a, as high as um, 
uh, render distance, so they would actually like disappear. I'm gonna try. You can't see them, but they will disappear if you go far away enough. So I had to hide those kind of, or else it would look weird. Uh, and emerald blocks, and also <clears throat> orange stained glass. <clears throat> uh, now this is uh, Oracle Mask Shop. Now uh, she's based off Majora's Mask, so I decided she could sell cursed objects. Uh, I'm not gonna bother showing all these off, but. There's some good ones in there. This stupid mushroom placed on top of the block instead of on the item frame. I hate it. But uh, th th this is the best thing here, obviously. It's worth one quadrillion betel bucks. <clears throat> but that is not the point. The point is that I am out of video time for today, ladies and gentlemen. So, next time, building more shops, expanding more streets. I have no idea what next time will hold. Maybe some prankage, actually. Which reminds me, actually. I should probably... I'm going to show this off real fast. Because the evil being who built it is online right now. Died by fire. Who who I even built a shop for. Just, just to yesterday. Built a shop for her. She repays me by giving me wine and cheese. Now, uh... Now it's not the word wine spell. It's not spelled like, ooh, lovely. I'm gonna, sip, I'm gonna be a wine sipper on a train car. No. It's wine like, Wee! Like that kind of wine. And uh, to that died, all I have to say to you is, I'll see you next video.